And Ron, we're back with another question from a member. Ron, what is your opinion of budgets as managing directors? Do we need budgets for projects? And if so, should it be a yearly or monthly one? Uh, good question. Let's, let's address this appropriately. Uh, the managing directors, <clears throat> you know, I've used the words uh, through the uh, structured payout system that uh, this is your budget. This is your annual budget. <clears throat> when we put out the SKRs, um, all of a sudden, your the amount of money that you are, or bonds, the amount of the bonds that you are going to use for redemption have become very, very large. One million is three million dollars. And if you ask for a rate of $500,000 per dollar, you're getting up into a, a lot of money. And and if you put it all in a, in a structured payout system, then it's going to be putting money away for the future that can be used now. And so I have changed things around to say Counsel with your counselor when you go into the appointment. When you go in there, you're going to have a chance. To, this is my, these are, you can have 360 S, uh, millillions in your SKRs and 40, uh, 100 quintillions. <clears throat> Those numbers are going to get you up into a phenomenal amount of money. So you counsel with your counselor, say, these are my projects. What am I going to need for the next thousand uh, or hundred years or whatever? Hundred years, uh, that's our term. Uh, uh, what I'll need for for my my projects for that period of time, and so let's put that amount of money into the structured payout so that it comes to me on an annual basis, and that's why I have said this is your budget for the next year. Now, we're, we're adding to that the concept of a savings account. So your initial amount of money, and we've called it a primary principle, that primary principle can go in a number of different places. So uh, you don't have to put it all in, the prim in the, your structured payout. Uh, I'm going to say most, a large percentage will go into a savings account. What is that? What benefit is that? Well, if you're uh, if you've got a large project that you're wanting to do, then and and your monthly or yearly or whatever way you're getting your money, you don't have enough. Are you going to have to save up to do that? Especially when you've already started your projects and the money needs to be spent for sustaining your projects. Well, along comes a big one that you want to put money into, and that's what your savings account is going to be for. And the Alliance really likes this idea because it gives you the flexibility. You don't really understand what's coming, but you have a counselor that can help you to make decisions, to talk it out, and to uh, see if you can come to an agreement, and then that's what, what should take place. But he, your counselor is there just to advise you. Your counselor is not there to make up your mind or to tell you what to do. Won't do it. What should I do? I don't know. What do you want to do? That's, that's a, it's a counselor, not a uh, director. I won't tell you what to do. Uh, we call him a counselor for a purpose. And so understand that and then you can work with it okay so projects are can come from your um, structured payout most of the projects that you want to do would would work that way but if somebody asked you to build a, a spaceship and you wanted to pay for it i don't know if that's a possibility i'm just 
who how do you build a spaceship without money i here on the earth it's really hard to do <clears throat> but i can we do uh, uh anti-gravity machines can we can we pay for the manufacturing of anti-gravity machines is it a project or is it something that you want to use your um your savings account for these are the things that are coming to you and you are the one that's in charge so that's why we're trying to help you to know that you're not being told what to do by the cabal anymore you are the sovereign you are the creator you are creating your domain your kingdom of whatever whatever name you want to call it you know is it the kingdom of john uh, those are the kinds of things that we're coming into now you can say all the glory be to god and all of that sort of stuff and, and if you want to say that then that's fine i'm not going to criticize but i'm saying to you God put you here on the earth to do your work. And the glory of your accomplishing your work is your glory. And you can present that back to God and say, and he can say, well done, thou good and, and faithful servant. But you're going to have to take it upon yourself to be who you are and not be depending on other people all the time. Grow up, mature in your spirit, mature in your life so that you can become the humanitarian that you want to be. And then, and then you qualify for your redemption money. People will say, well, why did God choose you? Well, I qualify. I have a calling and I'm qualified. It's not that he's called the qualified. <clears throat> no, he's calling you and will qualify you for the work. That's the way it works. You have to show up. You have to take upon yourself the responsibility to be the humanitarian, to get the work done that you want to do. <clears throat> you are the creator. So... It's a new way of looking at things, and I hope that I'm not offending anybody, but that's where the Alliance wants you to be. And then they can have faith and trust in you that you will do the right things. And that's what this is all about. We'll go on to the next question. Thank you, Ron. And that was a very empowering answer. And we will be back with another question from a member. Okay.